All right, Scorpio. Here we go. I don't know why I'm here. I thought, you know what? I went on a walk and I said, you know what? I need to do a reading for Scorpio. So here I am. Scorpio, soulmate energies update. Soul moon, uh, sun, soul moon, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Scorpio. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Tarot, you found it for a reason. This is timeless. Whenever you're meant to find it is when you're meant to find it. If you found it now, you were meant to find it now. Here we go. Here's my pre-shuffle. I asked, why am I here? Give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of Scorpio. Okay. I can tell you this, you're all over that All Signs reading. If you haven't watched the All Signs reading I did today, it's riddled with Scorpio energy. That's, that's part of the reason I'm here. <laughs> but I thought I'd give you a little something. Mm. Five of Swords. Mm. Well, it's a false victory. It's, it's self-sabotage. It's, it's just somebody who's overthinking too much. I already went through. Somebody who is self-sabotaging a new beginning, which is trying to happen by doing nothing, sitting on their ass, Four of Swords. Overthinking. Four of Swords and the Hermit is overthinking. Third eyes lit up. They feel this connection beyond belief. They know it's their wish fulfilled happiness. It, 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 uh, it is emotionally fulfilling to their soul. Mm, and they're worried about that. Nine of Swords. Not my discombobulated critter. All right? And underneath that is a fool. I think eventually here something's going to kick. And I think it has a lot to do with the 1010 portal, the new moon in Libra. And the stopgap in the energies, which is causing you to sort of disappear from their soul. Either way, it, it's it's a five of swords bookending fool with everything in between. It goes back and forth between I'm coming in, I'm not coming in. I'm not coming in, I'm coming in. I'm not coming in, I'm coming in. Back and forth, back and forth. Overthinking. Hermit. Nine of swords. Four of swords. Five of swords. Self-sabotage. What the hell? What the hell? What the fuck are you dealing with here? Let's shuffle the deck, Scorpio. Come on. Don't do this to my Scorpio, people. And I'll tell you what. You screw over a Scorpio one time. That's all you get. <laughs> that's all you get. All right, here we go. I'm shuffling the deck for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. What's going on? Somebody's definitely, at the very least, I can tell you. Somebody wants to come towards you. But they're, they're really up in their head too much. Too much. You're all over that all signs reading. You truly are. That web I talk about. Oh, my God. Jesus. Yep, you're all, your energy's all over that shit, so make sure you watch the all signs. But watch this, too. Stick around. Uh, the energies are crackling right now. Everything's going crazy in the energies. And that's, well, that's candy land for an energy reader like me. You know, I can pull it right out of there. We'll see where we go here. Before the cut from my Scorps coming back. Hmm. Rock you like a hurricane, the Scorpions, right? Here it is. It's a repeating message. It's the Nine of Cups. This person can't figure... Oh, I know what it is. Oh, I know. This person can't figure out why they fucking love you so much. They can't figure it out. <laughs> they can't. And they shouldn't be trying. They should just go with it. I love Scorpio. Okay. Then bang them. What the hell? Go. I mean, you only live once. We die anyway. You know, seriously, we die anyway. Live your life with that with that philosophy, and you will have one hell of a life at the end of the road. I promise you. You know, go for the shit you want. That's what this person needs to learn. What did I just get done saying? They can't figure it out. They're all in their head. What have I been saying? Here it is: the Eight of Swords after the cut. Nine of Cups followed by the Eight of Swords. They can't figure out why you warm their soul so much. Why they love you. Why, 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 why. I don't know. Why not? Maybe Scorpio's fucking awesome. Maybe Scorpio. Actually, not maybe. Scorpio's your deep soul twin flame can or twin flame connection. I don't know. Maybe you ought to just go talk to Scorpio. Unzip your pants and have some fun. I don't know. But I'm going to shuffle the deck and we're going to do a reading because I went on a walk and all I could think about was Scorpio. 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 I'm surprised I didn't see a scorpion on the damn walk. I'll tell you. Uh, Scorpio. 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 Okay, I'm going home and I'm doing Scorpio. Fine. Somebody needs to do Scorpio because it ain't this person. They're fucking sitting around thinking about you way too much. Jesus. Fine. You don't want Scorpio? I'll do them. All right, here we go. Shuffle in the deck for Scorpio. We're going to get an overall energy. We're going to pull a reading. We're going to see where we go here. Unreal. Unfucking real Okay. Another repeating message. Bottom of the deck. The Four of Swords. 
Why do I love Scorpio? They're overthinking this. I bet the hermit's still under it. Yep, I felt that. It's because I said they're overthinking this. That's all I got off of this. And there it is. The hermit, right under it again. Repeating messages from the bottom of the deck after cuts and shuffles and cuts and shuffles. Oh my. The third eye is lit. See the little lamb? See the third eye? It's lit. That's why we kept seeing the Nine of Cups. And the Ace of Wands is trying to happen. Hermit. I bet, I bet we got a lot of repeat messages from the pre-shuffle, which is crazy because I've cut the deck and I've shuffled. I shuffled and then I cut the deck and then I shuffled again. And I'm a damn fine shuffler. But lately, those pre-shuffles have been coming back. That's repeating messages. That's very important. You see them out there in the real world? That's very fucking important. Pay attention. All right. Right here's the energy around the connection or your person, I think, today. The way the energies are lying. Right here is how uh, your person feels. How they feel about you is right here. Not what they show you, not what they tell you, because it's obviously complete bullshit. Hidden energy is right here. What the universe wants you to know through me, and I'm going to tell you, and right here is the final outcome. I'll clarify everything. I'll throw some universe cards over the top at the end. If I think we need to extend this, Scorpio, I will. But I, I'm telling you, you're all over that all signs reading. I would check that out, and I would check out the extended on that, because there's the same kind of message here. Uh, but it goes into some... I go pretty deep in that reading. Wow. Uh, I just got a wave of energy here. Holy fuck. Okay. Yeah, it's repeating messages. The first card out, the Ace of Wands. All The universe is shoving this part. There's a new beginning trying to happen here. It's trying to happen. Trying. Uh, it's trying to happen. Something keeps putting the wick out on it. It's your damn person. You know, it's like we light the M80, psst, psst, the wick's burning, and somebody comes up with their wet fingers and goes, psst, it's out, son of a bitch. Now I'm going to light the wick again, psst, and someone comes up and puts it out over and over again. There isn't much wick left, because it burns a little before the person with the wet fingers comes by, and they don't put very long wicks on M80s. And they're meant to be thrown or run away from. There's not much wick left here, okay? I gave you the best analogy I could for the energy off this. It's a new beginning trying to happen and that son of a bitch is going off because eventually there's just not enough wick left and there isn't enough time for them to put it out. They're sitting on their ass. How do they feel in their emotions? More repeating messages. Again, the, the, the bottom shuffle is coming out in all sorts of mixed order here, but it's, it's, it's there. It, it, after a shuffle, a cut, and another shuffle, um, it is the uh, Five of Swords. Yeah, how do they feel? They, they, that's putting the wick out. How do they feel? They feel like they got wet fingers and they're putting wicks out on an M80 that's trying to go off. For those that don't know what an M80 is, it's a glorified firecracker. Look at it that way. <laughs> oh, Self-sabotage. This person, this person's overthinking, 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 overthinking. Stop it. Stop it. It's simple. Say hello to Scorpio and go bang them. Right here is the energy around how they feel about you in their soul. Not what they show you, not what they tell you. I'm sure it's... it's uh, I was sure it was another card from the bottom shuffle. It's not. But this is... Look how they feel about you. You're irreplaceable. You're the king of pentacles. You're the eight-point buck with rainbow antlers. I mean, my God. Every time I pull this card, hunters all over the place getting crazy. They're grabbing their bows, their guns, everything. They're running out the door. It's not even deer season. Sit down, motherfucker. Right here. Uh, King of Pentacles. Uh, you're irreplaceable. Your stability, you represent. And they don't understand why. The message I get is they don't understand why. That's this. Th th that's this. Look, if this card wasn't here, and this card wasn't here, this would be great. <laughs> but even the bird laughed. See, and he a Pisces, you know. Right here. Five of, five of swords. Five of swords. It's getting in the way. They're getting in the way of this. They keep putting the wick out on the M80. Mm -hmm. Yet they see you as irreplaceable, spectacular. But they don't know why. I don't know why they don't know why. I'm going to find out. I'm going to find out. Why? What the fuck? Hidden energy here. Red with the Ace of, Ace of Wands. Yeah, it is fun. It's not funny. It's nothing funny about the Ace of Wands, little buddy. Right here. The Flux Capacitor. The, three, the flux capacitor, the three of wands. 
It's trying to, this is the three of wands is just before the four of wands, the happy new beginning, the whole thing. It's trying to happen. They keep putting the wick out. They get this close to reaching out to you. It's close, right? It's like you get your hand on their buttoned up fly jeans and you get two buttons down and then they run away. It's that, it's literally, yeah. I'm telling you though, there isn't much wick left. Remember I told you, I said there's not much wick left. Yeah, there's not much wick left. It's the three of wands. The next thing is the four of wands. Not like this is the two of wands. That'd be a long wick. This is the three of wands. There's not much wick left. I read the energy first, then I pull the cards. So uh, the cards either back me up or put egg on my face. I'm not getting any egg today. There's no eggs for breakfast today, Scorpio. There's not much wick left. There's nowhere to go but the four of wands, but they're still standing in the way. They're still insistent on putting that wick out. No, I don't want that M80 to go off. It's my last one. Okay. Well, the whole point of it is that you enjoy the explosion, right? It goes off and you, <laughs> you laugh, it's fun, right? I don't know. Not much wick left here. This thing's going to go off whether they like it or not. I just hope they're, they're in a good place because they're coming to you. They see you as this. I think they feel like they're inferior to you. I think they feel like you're out of their league. I mean, that's kind of the energy I get. It's the only explanation I can give. We're going to clarify. We'll find out. What's the final outcome? Red with Mr. or Mrs. I'm going to keep putting out the wick. The love geese. The lovers. This is communication. They're going to reach out. The love geese are in the air. This I, Again, it backs up what I said. There's, there's no more wick left. They come up. You light the wick. Psh, they put it out. You come up, you light the wick, they put it out, they put it out. Eventually, it's just only like this much wick left here. This sucker's going off whether they like it or not. It backed up my read on the energy. The universe just fucking backed it up as major arcana. Once these geese are in the air, they're in the air. I don't know what I don't know how much you know about geese, but they don't, you know, it takes a lot of energy for birds to fly. Birds are lazy. I have people tell me all the time because they know I'm a bird of prey expert. I never see hawks. And when I see one, it's something really special. You come on a walk with me, we'll see a dozen hawks. If we go up hiking through Will Rogers Forest or something here in Los Angeles, we'll see, I see a dozen hawks a day. They're not flying. They're in the fucking trees. Because it takes a lot of energy to fly. You don't fly unless you have to. Sort of like us with planes. You know, We don't fly unless we have to. <laughs> Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, they're coming in. Whether they like it or not, this m 80s going off. Let's clarify. Why is the Ace of Wands here? I can't wait to clarify that Five of Swords. Uh, and I'm going to clarify the shit out of it, too. Because there's something there's something. That, what the fuck? This is what the fuck? Like, how can they have this high of an opinion of you and keep putting the wick out? It's got to be low self-worth. It's got to be... It's they're, they're healing from something. It's low self-worth. I, I don't know here. We'll find out. Why is the Ace of Wands here? I know why the Ace of Wands is here. And the Ace of Wands is exploding. It's in the middle of an explosion. Why? Because there ain't no fucking wick left. It's got no choice but to explode. The geese are in the air. Seven of Pentacles. It's timing. It, the, the time is now. That's the message from the universe. Seven of Pentacles on the Ace of Wands. The time is now. It's divine timing. The time is now. Why is the Seven of Wands here? For the soulmate connection. This is literally the universe talking to you. Straight up, straight out English. The time is now for this soulmate connection. That's what it says. And they are, and on the flip of that, in the under energy, yeah, they're thinking back to how they fucked this whole thing up. And they feel this connection. These are all past lives, the, root, the roots on this tree. And they, and they, for some reason here with this Five of Swords, it's the same message I gave you from the pre-shuffle. They can't figure out why they feel this. It's like they don't want to. They're afraid of you. There's some sort of, there's like a mix of fear. And I don't know. Why is the Five of Swords here? Let's just pull the shit out of this motherfucker. Why is the Five of Swords here? Why? Why? What's wrong with Scorpio? I love Scorpios. Some of my best friends are Scorpio. Loyal sons of bitches. Good energy. Very you know, very deep psychically. Very nice. Good people. What the fuck? Of course you're good people. You got rainbow antlers for fuck's sake. My God. Why, why is the Five of Swords here? Why? 
Oh, second time it was here. It was at the it was the bottom card for this, and it's the bottom card here. Re repeating message. Seven of Cups. Ah, oh. yeah, they feel you're out of their league. They feel you got options around you, choices around you. Also, the energy around this is very clear. So they're in and out on communication. Here's the sun. Here's the moon. Here's Silent Bob. Here's Chatty Kathy. Back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. They feel like uh, you're out of their league. You know that. Uh, you know. I mean, you are probably based on the behavior I see here. Why is the Five of uh, Swords here? Let's do it. Let's pull the top cards. The world. A cycle is trying to end here. An M80 is trying to go off. It's right here. It's trying to go off. They keep putting the wick out. And I feel frustration off of the world. The universe itself is fucking frustrated. Oh, you should watch that All Signs reading. You should. Mm -hmm. And if you have cancer anywhere in your chart, you watch the cancer reading I did the other day too. Hey, do what you want. I'm the guy who did the readings. I'm the energy reader. And I'm telling you, I feel your energy here. And I'm telling you what you need to watch. Do what you want. But yeah, the universe is pissed. It's pissed. <laughs> it's, I mean, I'm just saying. It's pissed. You keep. It's the universe's M80. Right? It's lighting it. And this motherfucker keeps coming up and putting the wick out. And it's like, hey. 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 Three of Cups. <coughs> oh my God. Uh, the universe is trying to get your person to communicate. The Three of Cups is about the flow of emotion. It's trying to get your person to open up, and they're fighting it every step of the way. Five of Swords. They see it as a victory to not be vulnerable. They see it, it's a false victory card, the Five of Swords. They see it as a victory to run away, to be a runner, basically, to run from emotion. The universe is trying to change this cycle by showing them something, showing them this, you, the rainbow antler eight point buck, and saying, look, look. You can pet that. Go over and pet the rainbow antlered buck. And they keep fighting it every step of the way. Every fucking step of the way. I'm pulling some more on this. I want a crossing. I know the crossing card is the seven of cups. I know that. Mm, they're, they're back and forth on, on communicating. Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. It's, it's like Schrodinger's person. It really is. It's like your person is in a box with an isotope. And when you close the box, it's back and forth between dead and alive. And then you open the box and you see which person you got. So I'm going to find out right now what the fuck. And I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually pulling a mock Schrodinger's cat on these cards right here for you. That's what I'm doing. Why? Because I'm pissed at your person right now. I'll tell you, I'm tempted to give two middle fingers. But I don't want to flip off the universe. And I, I'm with the universe. The universe is pissed. You need to watch the Cancer reading and you need to watch the All Signs reading. I'm not going to extend this one because I don't have to, but I am going to do you solid right now. And tell me about the world. Tell me about the world, the Five of Swords, and the Three of Cups. Tell me about it. Tell me about it right now, Universe. Alright, here we go. Ah, these cards are sticking together. Yeah. Communicate. Okay. Communication. Uh, Page of Cups. They are intimidated by you. This is a page. This is a king. They see you as a king. Male or female. That's your energy. That's how they feel about you. You're a king. They see themselves. This is how they feel as a page. They're intimidated. It, it's, it's intimidation factor. You're evolved. You're more evolved than them. Probably emotionally. Maybe you have more money than them. I don't know. But, but that's not important. See, but if they think that is, then it's important. If we think something's important... It is. Okay? That's the way to get over addictions, too. You know, you smoke, maybe. Right? You smoke them cigarettes. I used to do that. And the, the easiest way to quit is forget all that gum and shit. Just get yourself to realize, to acknowledge that you don't need it. As soon as you do that, you quit. You keep smoking because you think you need it. They, this person here... As long as they think that you're more, in, you're better than them, that, that they're, they, as long as they see themselves this way, this is low self-worth, they're always going to be this way. They're not. Your souls are in love. Your souls are on the same level. Your souls are soul mates. You're connected or you're twin flame. You're the same damn twin soul. So what happened in their life to cause this low self-worth? I don't know. Queen of Wands. Yeah. 
they pretend everything about this person oh well, I'm pulling you some cards here everything about this person on the outside in the 3D is pretend pretend as my father would say I like paying a tribute to him sometimes pretend <laughs> it's all pretend it's phony baloney underneath they're a child they may come across they might be a high-powered business person high-powered lawyer big surgeon I don't know big movie star I don't know but that's fake that's only half of it underneath they're a page of fucking cups yeah and they're fucking unhappy the ten of cups reversed on top of that ten cups reversed unhappy so they have low self-worth this person is low self-worth causes them to run away the eight of cups they gone mm-hmm Eight of Cups, they, they, they run away from anything emotional. Anything emotional, they run away. Do not want to be vulnerable. Do not want to open up. They don't, want, they don't like it. But the thing is, I know what the bottom card is. And the bottom card is the crossing card on all this shit I just pulled. And this is beautiful. Why? What's changing all this? Why is the world here? Why is the universe ending a cycle and another one beginning and, it's, and resistance is futile from your person with their five of swords bullshit minor arcana against the most powerful card in the major arcana? Why? Because of this connection, that's why. The two of cups. It's this connection. They can't fucking escape it. They're going to have to man or woman up, pull up their big boy, big girl pants and come in and talk to the king of pentacles. They're going to have to do it. And I'm going to actually switch decks because I pulled too many cards here. I'm going to pull from a fresh deck of Lightseers the remaining um, clarifiers. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Unfucking real. This reading is unreal. This is somebody who loves the fuck out of you. He sees you as the King of Pentacles. You're the shit. You got my street name, Scorpio. My street name is the shit. You seen the shit today? No, I ain't seen it. All right. You're the shit to this person. All right. You're an eight-point buck with rainbow antlers. And they keep putting the wick out on the M80, waiting to go off. The M80 of the Ace of Wands, waiting to go off. Because they got low self-esteem, low self-worth. Their, their, whole, their whole outward persona is fake. It's all bullshit. It's crap. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Why is this person? See, my person, my Scorpio here, is the King of Pentacles. Tell me about it. Yeah. <laughs> the bottom card, uh, the top two cards are coming, the two cards are coming from the top of the deck. <laughs> Underneath it is the crossing card. It's the affecting energy. It's the King of Cups. They're afraid to be vulnerable. They're scared shitless to come talk to you, to come pet this deer. It's just a little deer, and he's got, he's tame, he's fine. He's perfectly fine. He's got rainbow antlers. It's real cool. You can touch his antlers. He'll let you touch his antlers. I bet you'll let him touch your antlers. And if they came in right. What's the cards here? Yeah, your soulmate connection. Six of cups, repeating message. Six of cups. Yeah. Disconnect, they fucking love you. It's here. It's clear in the energy. Death. Death, rebirth. They know they fucked this thing up. And they know that they owe you an explanation. And they know that they're going to have to explain it. In order for this to go, they're going to have to grow up. In order for this to go into a rebirth and start over. They just want to start from scratch and start over. But they also know that their, inward, their outward persona is phony. They're not as confident as, as you might think they are. You might have suspected this with your intuition. But the truth of the matter is they don't have their shit together as well as they seem to and or are just as you know studly if it, I'm not talking about money or anything like that I just mean having their shit together we can't call your person the shit and mean it you are the shit and they know it and they know they gotta come right and they're afraid to be vulnerable it until they open up what the cards are saying here is until they open up there will be no death rebirth you know I think the king of, of cups is gonna open up they don't have any choice the lovers is here the geese are in the air. It's major arcana. It used to be called the choice. But it's not, it's not a choice we get to make. It's a choice that's made. The geese are in the air. Okay? 
Just like an airplane. You get on an airplane, you're in the air. You don't get to go up to the pilot. Hey, I changed my mind. Can you turn this American Airlines jet around? Okay, he's going to look at you and flip you off. Security going to come tie you up in the back of the plane. You know, because you're crazy. No, it, it's Major Arcana. Your person can use their free will to chicken out, but they're going to land in a tower if they do. Just like Toons is the driving cat driving off the road where there ain't no place to go. There's no road. Just off the cliff. Three of Wands. Not much wick left. Let's shuffle the deck. There isn't much wick here. There really isn't. There's not a lot of wick. They can't put that wick out too many more times. Ah, uh, Three of Wands. Really close to the Four of Wands here. Three of Wands. Why is it here? Why is it here? Four of Swords. They've been healing. It's red. The Four of Swords is red with the Seven of Pentacles here. The time is now. The time is now for this M80 to go off. This Ace of Wands. They've been healing. They've been healing their heart chakra. I got sympathy for them. But at the same time, I don't. Because I think they could have moved a lot faster here. I think they could have healed their heart chakra. 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 Their heart chakra a little quicker. If you two had just had an adult conversation. What's the second card here is red with your soulmate connection. Right? Which, by the way, repeats. Here. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. Uh, it's it's come, The Wheel of Fortune come is red with the soulmate connection. So things are changing in this soulmate connection. The time is now for this soulmate connection. Universe says it's destined. The wheel is coming off of ain't got no more wick left to put out. It's time for this thing to blow here, this Ace of Wands. Wheel of Fortune's turning 180 degrees here. And I know it's turning 180 degrees in your favor, Scorpio, or in the favor of this soulmate connection because the next card out is the Love Geese. And they're in the fucking air. Why is the lovers here? Mm. These are going to be read as standalone because all this has already been, you know, whatever. This is just its own part of the reading. This is the final message here. The love geese, the lovers. This connection coming together. I got two six of cups and a lovers. And a world card. Those together alone, I'm just picking out the soulmate cards here. Those together alone are a powerful connection. Nobody's escaping this. They know they can't escape it. I see it in the death card there with the uh, Six of Cups. Oh, they try, but it keeps coming back around and around and around. Mm. Lovers, why is it here? Why is the lovers here? What, is my table crooked? Oh, I'm sorry. You're all watching the video with your head cocked sideways. You're going to get kinked. I'm sorry. I don't know. What's going on? Why is the lovers here? Why is the lovers here? Well, look who's back. It's funny how this card would be read with the Five of Swords here that's underneath this pile. It's the Five of Swords is the crossing energy here of the two cards that are about to fall from the top of the deck. <laughs> see, this, see what I'm saying? I mean, it's just... They're fighting it every step of the way, but there's just no wick left. The strength... The heart chakra is open. The heart chakra is healing. The heart chakra is opening. They're getting the strength together. They're afraid. The, the strength card is surrounded by fear. They know the geese are in the air. They know they're on an airplane headed somewhere and they don't have the power to turn the plane around. Okay? That's, that's the analogy I'll give you. But they're scared to death because you're a king and they're a page and their whole outward persona is fake. It's not real. It's not real confidence. They have very low self-worth. You're a higher vibration than they are. Or so they think. And as long as they think that, then it'll stay that way. You know. Yeah, it's, it's the truth. That's what's going on. It's right there. Why is the strength card here? What's the final final? Love geese are in the air. Three of pentacles. They're coming to work on this. Um, kicking and fighting every step of the way. The five of swords... They'll find a way to pick a fight or sabotage this in some way. They're coming kicking and screaming. But there is a happy ending here if they can get past this shit. What's under the Ten of Cups here? Just show it to me. It's victory. I didn't know it was there. I just flipped this over and showed it to you. Could have been anything. I don't know. It's the Six of Wands. Victory. Transformation. Transformation is also the message of the Death card here. Uh, it's victory. Yeah. If, if they can get past this. It looks like they do. 
based on the cards underneath it I think once you two start talking it'll start out small these are children on the card and a questionable man up here at the top these are children on the card I think it'll start out small okay I think it'll start out small but and they'll they'll probably say something stupid right oh and look look at look at his face oh why did I say that oh my god why did I say that he's even asking the crow and the crow is like I don't know why you said that what? right I don't know either way uh, there is a possibility here for the ten of cups and victory they're worried as stuff this person will sabotage Hey, will I got I got a moon a nine I got a moon a nine a I'm nine of swords a seven of cups you're gonna be a little bit confused by the conversation you're gonna have uh, but some truths will come out the ace of swords it's communication but this person's own propensity to do this and it's only because and listen to me listen to me Scorpio I'm telling you it's only because they got low self-worth their whole outward thing whatever it is they got whatever swagger they got whatever it is it's all bullshit it's fake it's phony it's pretense they're unhappy if they tell you they're happy I'm living my best life <laughs> it's a fucking lie it's a fucking lie it is the Queen of Wands it is the Ten of Cups reversed it is the Eight of Cups they run it, it you, you they see as a king them they see themselves as a page and that was the first crossing card here and it's probably the most important one that fell the rest of it just tells why they see themselves as a page okay that's what we got here I'm gonna pull three cards from the universe while I got the deck in my hand to see if there's anything else the universe wants to tell you I recommend the cancer reading whether you got it in your chart or not I don't care I'm tell I'm the guy who reads the energy here and I'm telling you that energy is here I recommend the cancer reading I recommend the all signs reading at the very least okay uh, do what you want it's up to you but those are my suggestions uh, give me three cards from the bottom of the deck anything else you want to tell Scorpio what do we got here okay all right here we go uh, eight of swords yeah okay king, uh, ace of cups the uh, king of swords and the magician uh, it's a message for you it's stop it's just they, they have a lot of love for you don't worry about it they're gonna work it out King of Swords comes in and takes action King of Swords however is a joke the, uh, I don't mean it in the sense of the King of Swords is a joke I mean this is gonna be a phony persona when they show up it's a card of communication but it's them putting on a fake act to be you know the king they want to try to meet the king the King of Swords wants to come talk to the King of Pentacles male or female doesn't matter uh, but this is fake uh, because I have an eight of swords before it that tells me this is fake it's also a message to you don't worry about it you come out smelling like a rose in this this is your energy attached to this magician it's crossing the ace of cups you're the magic man uh, that's the heart song you could be a woman you're the magic woman but the name of the song is magic man and it's ringing in my head right now um, you're fine and also this tells me that it's a card of timing again timing the time is right they'll figure it out it's just you know they just have low self-worth that's all it is they're just intimidated they think you're doing great they think you're the shit and it's hard to come talk to the shit when you think you're shit it's hard to come talk to the shit when you think you're shit it's really true and that's basically what this reading is and if YouTube would let me get away with putting the word shit in the title that's how I'd title it but I'm not going to do that. I might do it with asterisks or something. I don't know if you get dinged for that or not. I don't know. I haven't been out here long enough. But anyway, that's that. That's your reading. I hope you like this reading. I hope it was helpful to you. Uh, the M80 is going off whether they like it or not. Uh, they're coming in. Love geese are in the air. The universe is telling you not to worry. Just chill out. Even the bird over here, he's telling you not to worry. And he a Pisces, you know? If you like this reading please like share please like share and subscribe I appreciate all the subscribers everybody who shares and everybody who watches all right Scorpio stay tuned if, if this energy changes I will and you know again you've got your monthly that I just did recently too. check that out I will uh, do an, uh, another energy update for you if this energy changes all right good luck